I'm Jane McNally, Sun Sports Editor. Last Saturday, Cornell men's ice hockey defeated St. Lawrence in the ECAC championship game, securing its 13th program title and breaking a 14-year title drought. As a result, Cornell gets an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. The Red are set to take on Maine in the semifinal of the Northeast Regional. Here are some things to know ahead of the game. First, both teams enter the tournament red hot. Cornell has won five games in a row, including its sweep of Harvard in the ECAC quarterfinals and its two wins at Lake Placid en route to a conference title. Maine is coming off a loss to number two Boston University in the Hockey East semifinals. However, the Black Bears have won four out of their last five games, including a string of three consecutive wins against ranked opponents. The teams play alike and uphold similar defensive structures, making for a highly contested matchup. Next, Maine Maine has just one NHL draft pick on its roster compared to Cornell's six. Maine's top scorers are Bradley and Josh Nadeau. The twins play on a line together and have combined for 91 points. On the other end of the ice, junior goaltender Ian Shane should match up well against Maine's offense. The 2024 ECAC Goaltender of the Year leads the nation in goals against average, allowing just 1.7 per game. Shane also boasts the second best goalie win percentage in the NCAA. Cornell must beat Maine to keep its season alive. Should Cornell get past the Black Bears, they'll meet the winner of the other regional semifinal game between Denver, who Cornell upset in last year's NCAA tournament, and UMass, who Cornell defeated in a shootout earlier this season. To learn more about Cornell's return to the NCAA hockey tournament, pick up Thursday's issue of the Cornell Daily Sun for the special NCAA hockey tournament supplement. You can also subscribe to the Sun's hockey newsletter, which sends weekly updates on the team straight to your inbox. Tune in to Cornell's regional semifinal game against Maine tonight at 5.30 p.m. The game will be broadcasted live on ESPN News and ESPN+.